the last of four System 80 through 80B driver boards sent to me that go with the Hollywood Heat MPUs that I just repaired. This one, I'm not sure it's working completely. You can see that somebody added a jumper wire from the can of the 2N3055 down to the card edge connection where it goes. And I booted it up. And this is my uh, Pascal Janin made board that I bought ages ago. And a coin lockout coil is engaged. And we have power. And down here we have some System 80A like attract mode lights. So let's get into lamp test. So I'm hoping this will show you what a fully operating driver board looks like, but we can never tell since this is the first test. But Gottlieb, they cheated right here when this one toggles the four over here will begin toggling too well actually they didn't they didn't cheat these four are the inverse of these four sorry Gottlieb so you can see this is the uh what is that extra ball yeah shoot again lamp so all of the lamps are operating correctly now let's get to coil test this is a little tricky to see. I've been through this uh, many times, so I know where to look to see where LEDs are going to light up. But I think Solenoid 2 did not light up. Where is Solenoid 2? It's this end one. Let's do this test again. And you do that, you repeat a test by hitting the credit button while in diagnostics. So there's one. Yeah, two did not light. Three and four are over on the left. When we come back here for five and six, seven and eight are on the left. And then nine is back on back on the main board. These are this is a sound 16 enable. And then we've got the sound uh eight, four, two, and one also. So solenoid two is inoperative. Let's go figure that out. And we're back. One of the things I didn't mention before is that somebody was trying to tie all the grounds together on this board. I don't recommend that, but they had cut this trace, which was preventing a ground path for my tester. So I wasn't seeing anything. So I as I was uh, investigating that, I discovered it and just tax soldered a lead across there. So I think I have solenoid two fixed. The, this is the CAN transistor that drives it. And sometimes these screws and the, uh, the nut on the backside become loose and then the CAN doesn't make good contact with the trace. That's the reason somebody put a jumper here and ran it all the way down there. But it's just a matter of, uh, tightening the screws down and you can tighten them down just as hard as you want. If that doesn't get it done, you have to remove the can transistor, build up a little solder underneath there, and then uh, you'll be making good con contact. So I've, I'm in a track mode right now. So let me skip to lamp test. And now to solenoid test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight are on the left, then back down to the bottom for nine. So all the coil circuits are now operating correctly on this board. Let me do that one more time. So I missed the sound 16 selection. There was nine. There's the sound 16. Good to go.